Earlier this month, Bloomberg TV India reported that the finance ministry has told public sector banks to read out the Riot Act to willful defaulters. The promoters of such projects were either to bring in fresh equity into those projects or cede management control. Now, Bloomberg TV India learns that lenders have tried to implement this directive and have sought additional equity from the Kasliwal family in the Maheshwar Heidel project in Madhya Pradesh. Mayak joins us with more details. Uh, well, that's right. Now, why is this project really important? Because uh, this project was supposed to be the first private Heidel Power project of the country, which was envisaged in 1998. And not just that, it also figures in the actual list of the finance minister's list on stall projects that he wants to revive. Now, what we've picked up from sources is that lenders are seeking additional equity uh, in this project. Uh, not just that, but they've kept a condition of, of if fresh loans have to be provided. Now, remember, this is an NPA at this point in time with an exposure of 2,200 crores uh, to REC, PFC and other banks and the lenders have indicated they are okay with going ahead with the restructuring uh, but either there should be a management change or the promoters should bring in fresh equity. Uh, the Maheshwar Heidel project of course was envisaged in 1998. It had issues in the Narmada Bachao Andolan. Environmental clearances finally came in in 2012 uh, but it has been classified as an NPA. Uh, the largest exposure is of course of PFC uh, with 700 crores uh, followed by REC and then SBI and a couple of other PSU banks. Uh, but uh, really at this point in time, it's a 400 megawatt Heidel project, uh, which has 10 turbines, only three of which are ready at this point in time. Uh, and uh, the history, of course, is that it is uh, promoted by the uh, by Mukul and uh, Varaj Kas uh, Kasliwal. Uh, remember, this is the S. Kumar uh, family. Mukul Kasliwal is Nitin Kasliwal's brother, and Varaj Kasliwal is Mukul and Nitin's cousin. Uh, the Kasliwals are S. Kumar's group was split in 2008. So that's the background here, and that's why this is an important project, because it does figure on the finance minister list uh, of those tall projects and the lenders, uh, sources tell us, have put in this precondition. Hmm. Stay with us, Meg. I'll come back to you in a bit. But uh, first, some uh, background as well. This is not the first time the Kasliwal family has faced the wrath of the banking community. Just a few months ago, state-run Yuko Bank invoked the provisions under Sarfesi to recover loans given to Nitin Kasliwal owned textile company Reed & Taylor. Yuko Bank declared the account an NPA and said the liabilities had not been met despite reminders from the bank. The bank had first claims to all of the company's fixed assets, then to the current assets. The loans also carried a personal guarantee of the company's chairman, Nitin Kasliwal. Yuko Bank went to the extent of saying that banks, financial institutions and the public should exercise caution when dealing with Nitin Kasliwal. Financial Services Secretary Rajiv Takru had made it clear that banks were to adopt this tough stance when he spoke to us at the start of this month. And I would even uh, go to the extent of uh, stating, and this is of course, this is not a policy decision, so please don't misunderstand me. This is just an item which has come up, that in cases of uh, gross mismanagement of a company, where we find a company is slipping into... Um, CDR or is being forced to go for a CDR, um, I personally think that banks uh, may need to look at uh, insisting on a change of management. Joining me now is Alok Sinha, the group director at MW Corp, the parent company for the Maheshwar Power Project. Uh, Mr. Sinha, while the project has now been classified as an NPA, it is also in the limelight because it's been included in the finance minister's list of 200 projects that should be revived. Is the group interested in revi reviving the project at all? Of course, the company is committed to providing power and drinking water in the area. A PP has been signed, which is on the floor of the state assembly. The company is not only interested in reviving the project, the company is doing its level best to ensure that the last tranche of capital which is needed to complete the project is raised. And we have to put on record our gratitude to the Ministry of Finance, Government of India, that they have taken on a hands-on approach and they are holding regular meetings with all our lenders and some other banks in order to see how the last bit of capital can be raised and uh, the project is revived because the project is the civil construction is complete. Three out of seven turbines have already been installed and test run successfully. The fourth turbine is being installed and with that we would be able to generate electricity even on a commercial basis. Well, the 
Public sector banks have an exposure of about 2,200 crores to the project. You have held meetings with lenders, the finance ministry is involved as well. Bloomberg TV India learns that a CDR is in the works, but they either want the promoter to bring in more equity or that a management change has to be there. There are voices in the government that have laid down a directive that if a CDR is being done, there is an element of mismanagement of the company. What would you say to that? We would like to refute that uh, allegation, sub unsubstantiated allegation of mismanagement. Uh, as far as change of management, the company is managed by a board of directors in which the lenders have a majority. The lenders decide who will be chairman, who will be MD and who will be the director of finance. Every other appointment is also subject to the board of directors approval in which the lenders have a majority. When you say that we have been holding meetings with the lenders, of course we have been holding meetings with the lenders informally and formally in the board of directors where they have a majority. So, nonetheless, I did make a visit to the PFC, the principal lender, yesterday and I found out that uh, no one has ever said that the management should be changed because how can the management be changed when the management is in the hands of the majority of the lenders? And the CDR efforts of the government of India in the Ministry of Finance is being done officially. When you say the company is committed to reviving the project, Ogden uh, had 49% uh, in the project and then exited. At that point, the promoter did not bring in any fresh equity. The project, as a result, has had little e equity coming in from the promoters. Would they be open, open to putting in more equity? You know, the promoter has already put in 550 crores of equity. And in the last two years, the promoter has also put in another 100 crore from their other group companies into the Maheshwar uh, project company just to keep the show going. So therefore the, com the promoters have already put in about 750 crore rupees. The, the government of India has even asked the promoters would they be willing to have some equity participation by LIC and others and we have said yes. So there is no problem at all of raising more equity. The CDR is being done by the Ministry of Finance's blessings and official attempts to do it as soon as possible. Let me rephrase this question. You have said that you are committed in reviving the project. Of course, I mean, we have put in so much of money and effort and everyone's money is there, so it has to be revived. Right, so and, yeah. and, and the project is standing there. 99% of the civil work is complete. Three out of uh, ten turbines put in, installed and successfully test run. The fourth turbine is being put in. Let me ask again, are the promoters bringing more equity on the table? You know, on that, the promoters are already in talks with the CDSL and the Ministry of Finance. The promoter has already put in 550 crores plus 100 crores. More money, of course, they'll put in. So, if the project needs it, more money will come in from the promoters. We are committed to bringing in more equity. All right. Committed to bringing in more equity, says Alok Sinha, who's a director at that MW Corp.